Cloud9 is a free-to-play MMORPG developed by M-Game. Published by M-Game USA, Cloud9 is well known and worldwide by the name of Holic2. Cloud9 has been serviced for many different languages such as Korean, Japanese, and Spanish, etc. Storyline. Once upon a time, the holy land of Lunasia was more peaceful than it had ever been. Harmony flowered throughout the, all, the all the villages, and the land was always lush and fertile. The people were always cheerful and kind. Melancholy was unknown to them. Furthermore, in Lunasia, human emotions were controlled by seven gods, and the seven gods watched over their calmness and content. It seemed they were satisfied with the world and its people. Eventually, though, after observing the uneventful realm for a long time, Hemereth, the god of desire, who was known to be particularly bellicose, asked the question to all the other gods. Well, all the world's people, same old, same old, so the war of the gods began. This agreement of the gods went on, and conclusion was never made. In the end, both sides refused to hold back their opinions. Nations. Primus Union. Hundreds of merchant guilds became united by an, a man named Vakavin Kalamar, and it became the nation of Primus Union. Primus Union is the center of trading crafting. The nation is the largest and is still growing, and never seems to stop expanding. Ganav Libero. Wanderers and travelers crowded into this city one by one, and finally it became a huge union. Five elders in the city then came together, and the nation Ganav Libero was born. Races. Sanaka. When the world was created, the gods created Sanakas as manifestations of God themselves. Therefore, Sanakas have the same appearance as the gods. Sanaka's strong spiritual strength and their high intelligence give them an advantage in battle. Kosher. Kosher. Koshers are the fairies who were born from the earth when the first leaf of life started to rise from the ground. They are descendants of the earth itself. They look small and cute, but as children of the land, they have unbelievable strength. Even though their weapons are bigger than their body, they wield them easily. Matsuka. The Matsuka race is a characteristic between two mixtures of an animal and a human form. They were born from the flames when the world was created. They are very sharp and intellectual, but they are terrible at crafting and anything that involves technique and skill, so they came to live along with other races. Classes. Warrior. High HP and strong defense makes the warrior the leader. Monk. Monks train every day to continue to overcome their own breaking points. They are experts in controlling the physical power of their body and also the flow of ki. Rogue. Thieves are born with amazing dexterity and they disappear and appear behind enemies to deal fatal blows. Hunter. Hunters instinctively make enemies lose fighting spirit with fast attack and guerrilla fighting style. Mage. Mages rule the battlefield by maximizing their spirit energy and harmonizing its force with nature. When they appear on the battlefield for the first time during the War of Gods, witnesses say that the whole world was covered by a bright and dark fog. Claire. Priests had a contract with the fairies in Lunasha and used divine light to cure comrades who have fallen. They're not really specialized in battle, so they usually support their teams and protect and rejuvenate them with the power of light. Features Monster Car Collection and Monster Taming System. Monster Transformation and play Player Killer System. Cloud9 provides a monster transformation system to players. Items that let players transform into monsters can be obtained by certain enemies. When a player transforms into a monster, their status or power becomes exactly the same as the monster, so it will give more advantage to the player who transformed. Also, the transformation system can be used as a tactic during the battle in PvP. Pet System. Cloud9 pets fight alongside players on the battlefield, and depending on their item setting, they can use unique skills. Crafting. In Cloud9, various materials will be obtained from looting monsters, mining, fishing, and gathering. All the materials can be used to craft various special items. Mounts. There are many kinds of mounts in Cloud9. Unicorn, Dragon, Big Fat Kitty, Wolf, and Bouncy Horse. Choose what you like, and these mounts can be used as transportation. Also, they will absorb some damage that players receive from enemies, and increase the possibility of surviving in battle. Class Witch. In Cloud9, a character may choose another class, which is called their subclass. There is no penalty for having two classes, and players can switch between their chosen class to fit the situation. Also, subclass skills will affect the main skill tree, and main and subclasses later share certain skills. Unlike its predecessor in which players could change their subclass, Cloud9 players may only select their subclass once. Another transportation, Human Cannon. Cloud9 uses Human Cannon for long distance trans transportation. Hopping into the cannon will shoot players to wherever they want to go. Don't worry about landing, characters are stronger than steel. It's a cartoony look, MMO, check it out.